Hello, today I'm going to be talking about how Ernest Rutherford proved Thomson's model of the atom was incorrect. First, let's talk about Thomson. He created his model in 1897 and it looked like this. He used the cathode ray tube and theories of the previous scientists like Democritus and Dalton to support his model. They believed that the atom was an indestructible sphere that was uniform. With Thomson's discovery of the electron, Thomson proposed a model where negative and positive charged particles are uniformly spread out in the atom. In 1911, Rutherford was testing Thomson's theory using an experiment. He beams possibly charged alpha particles at a gold foil. If everything went according to Thomson's theory, the particles should pass through with little to no deflection. But that was not the case. In the actual experiment, most particles acted the way Rutherford expected. But some of them bounced back and was deflected in the direction the particles came from. This is because the nucleus in the center of the atom is positively charged. The positively charged alpha particles are deflected by the nucleus because of this. Rutherford used this information and came up with a new atom model. He proposed that there must be a concentration of positively charged particles in the center of the atom that will cause the alpha particles to deflect. He called this the nucleus, and it contained positively charged particles called protons. He also said that there's lots of empty space inside an atom, and electrons actually orbit around the nucleus instead of atoms being a sphere that is uniform with negatively charged and positively charged particles like electrons and protons. So that's it. That's how Ernest Rutherford proved Thomson's model of the atom was incorrect. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed.